So we're going to prove Theorem 4.8. It's actually a fairly quick proof and uh, kind of neat. Uh, the, proof, the, the theorem says that a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle if and only if the opposite angles are supplementary. Now remember, supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees, or if you are so inclined, uh, they add up to the angle pi, if you're a radian fan, as I am. Okay, so uh, this is an if and only if statement, so you actually need to prove two different directions. So first you can begin by supposing that you have a quadrilateral that's inscribed in a circle. Uh, then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to divide the quadrilateral, you're going to draw it in a diagonal, and then you're going to look at these two angles uh, that are opposite this diagonal. Now you'll notice that um, this angle right here intercepts all of this arc out here, this much of the circle. Okay? And this angle here intercepts all of this. Okay? And now we have a theorem from geometry, from you may recall it from earlier geometry. This says if you have an inscribed angle then the measure of the angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. Okay, so the between these two angles, we intercept the entire arc of the circle. So we're intercepting two pi radians, or we're intercepting, uh, you know, 360 degrees of arc of the circle. So these uh, angles, these inscribed angles, must each be half of the measure of the arc that they intercept. So this angle plus this angle must add up to 180 degrees. Okay? Uh, you do the same thing across the other diagonal, and you get that this angle here and this angle here must collectively uh, intercept the entirety of the circle and therefore uh, the sum of their angles must be 180 degrees. So if, it's in if it can be inscribed in a quadrilateral, we have an argument that shows us that, yes, indeed, the opposite angles must be supplementary. Now, suppose we go the other way around. Suppose we have uh, a quadrilateral whose angles uh, are not supplementary, whose opposite angles are not supplementary, or are supplementary. Terribly sorry. Well, um, we know we can draw a circle around any three of them, right? So if uh, we we just pick three of our of our vertices of the quadrilateral, and we draw the circle that contains those three. Remember, that's the circumscribed circle around the triangle defined by those points, and so on. Okay, and now we look at what, what happens with this other point. Uh, that theorem that we quoted up here, uh, S22, uh, actually has an analog that discusses what size the angle should be if that point is outside the circle. Okay, if it's on the circle, then it's exactly, then the measure of the angle is exactly half the measure of the intercepted circle. Um, but if it's outside, then it's actually, the angle is actually going to be smaller than that. So, uh, in this case, this angle would be intercepting, uh, this angle would measure less than half of the intercepted angle, which would imply that this, uh, this angle here and this angle here would not be supplementary. Okay? So this angle is too small. Okay? And so that would contradicting that would contradict the assertion that these angle, angles are supplementary. Okay? Now if it's inside then that angle is actually bigger than half of the intercepted arc. So that would imply that this angle here and this angle here would add up to more than 180 degrees. And so this angle is too big. And so we contradict the supplementary property again.
But now if it's on there, if it's on that circle, then this angle is just right. Okay? It can't be outside because that would contradict the supplementary. It can't be inside because that would contradict the supplementary property. So it must be exactly on the side of the circle, which means it must be, we must be able to inscribe that quadrilateral into a circle. And we win.